Now something completely different. <laughs> Five minutes off. But first, let me introduce myself. Hi, my name is Evgeny, and I'm front-end team lead of Rike. What is Rike? Rike is a project management solution which helps you to be more productive. We have a lot of cool features, such as dashboards, uh, task lists, views, many more, I don't know, reports, dashboards, tables. What helps us to be more productive? It's Dart. We use it uh, for about three years now, and our team has grown up to 50 plus Dart developers, which is a lot. And we wrote a lot of Dart code, near this 700,000 lines of code, including UI components. So, Bright loves Dart. But today I would like to talk about one specific framework. It's Angular. Ah, sorry, wrong Angular. That kind of Angular. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the main question is, um, is, the, is Angular Dart the framework number one in the world? Uh, no. So this is Angular Dart, five minutes of no. OK. Is it the fastest framework in the world? No. <laughs> Just imagine, you're playing with your small, lovely to-do list. Everything is fast and smooth, and your Chrome is blinking. Everything is fast and smooth. Uh, but then comes the change detection and punch you right in the face. <laughs> what can you do with that? Use on push, always. Uh, use immutable data structures such as build lists and build values. And try to avoid zones, because every time you hit the zone, somewhere Kitty hurts from the change detection. Okay, is it the smallest framework in the world? <laughs> no. <laughs> Just imagine, you're playing with your small, lovely Hello World. Everything is fast and smooth, and you, your template just, just a few words, hello world, hello world. You compile it, wait for just a 30 seconds, yeah. <laughs> and then comes the Angular compiler and punch you right in the face with 200 kilobytes of code. <laughs> your to-do list is almost one megabyte of code. And, and your big application, such as Rike, is 14 megabytes of code. <laughs> what it, can you do with that? Uh, and set preserve white space, white space uh, until Angular 5 release. Uh, keep calm and update, because with every version, Angular produces more compact and uh, fast code. And uh, use deferred loading. It's help you not uh, ship your code in one big chunk, of course. OK. This is the most convenient framework in the world. Well, I would say that there are other stars in this universe. Uh, yeah, that's enough. OK, I, I see people in front of me be like, what's the point? Why are you still here just to suffer? Uh, <laughs> Uh, does it mean that Angular Dart is bad? I would say no. God, please, no. 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 What you actually want from your web framework, from any framework, it must simplify complex things. It must provide a layer of abstraction. And of course, help you to be more productive. And Angular have this one all these features. Uh, not every one of your team is a hacker who squeezed the juice out of the browser, yeah? You want that framework will help you and your team, with every person of your team, just to write good code. Yeah, maybe uh, Angular Dart is not so fast, but have you tried to go to shopping with a Ferrari? Well, I haven't, but I am just imagine that it's complicated. <laughs> and I don't think that Rike team can grow from this to this if we're still using JavaScript. And, and what Angular Dart, why it's good? Because it's fast enough in most cases. And, and you can tune it uh, to be most, more fast. It's feature-rich. 
if you count the numbers of the NPM packages for your super small uh, library, I bet you will be surprised. And tree shaking will help you with the size. And of course, that, that type system. Well, it, it has some issues, yes. But uh, from the front end perspective, it's a, it's a masterpiece. <laughs> and it constantly improves. With every version, Angular Dart is better, better, and better. So I said to you that uh, it, it would be five minutes of no. I lied. Because if you ask me, is Angular Dart a framework number one in the world to be more productive? I would say yes. And I hope that next year would be the year of yes for the Angular Dart. Thank you. Mm -hmm.